What's up, y'all? Terrell Friday here with Future DDS. Tyler Brown here with Future DDS. And we have a very special episode this week. We have a special guest, Dr. David Rice of Ignite DDS joining us. Uh, he, he put on a few events here at Tufts, and we're going to take you through a recap. Let's go. So if this is your first time to the channel, Tyler and I, we put out these videos to help pre-dents get into school as well as show a little bit of our experience going through dental school. So if you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, subscribe button, as well as the notification bell so you know whenever we put up new videos. Uh, we're here with Dr. Rice of Ignite DDS. Um, great speaker, entrepreneur, businessman, uh, just evolution of the platform. He's using his platform to help dental students, pre-dental students, as well as uh, current, currently practicing dentists and uh, you know people have been in the game for a while just you know refresh their their view on the on the field so I want to get his perspective on everything thank you for joining us today yeah thanks for having me. Dr. Rice is actually here speaking at Tufts University he's been here for a few days we actually had a, a network and chill event if you've seen it on our Instagram as well as Ignite DDS Instagram and Future Dentists if you haven't already check out their platform uh, but we're gonna get to the, to the interview now so uh, if you would please, you know, give us a little introduction. Tell us a little bit about yourself. Sure. So I'm a, a D, almost 25. Okay. Which is <laughs> a little sad to say. I've been doing dentistry for some time. I have a private practice in a suburb of Buffalo, New York. I've been, uh, I've owned that practice for 19 years. I have one partner there. We have two associates, one of which is buying in right now, which is kind of cool. And eight years ago, I, I went from teaching just at Buffalo Dental School to founding Ignite DDS because I really loved working with guys like you and dental students all over the country. And I thought, why not like form this giant national community instead of just laying low in Buffalo? There we go. So uh, now you've transitioned a little bit more from, uh, I guess, practicing solely um, to working more with students again. I guess, what is, how have you seen the, the field of dentistry evolve? But where do you see the direction of dentistry going towards for, you know, when we graduate? Yeah, it's an awesome question. So the one, the major change that I see right now is uh, the solo practitioner. So you and I as a single dentist working by ourselves, it's just not going to happen in the future. So smaller group practices are, are in vogue. Um, guys like you and me deciding to own two, three, four, five practices is a major um, hockey stick growth trend. And then those bigger practices that are out there, they're there, they're not going away, but they're starting to level up. So small groups are a win for you guys. There you go, I like that. Uh, you know, being an entrepreneurial mind, having an entrepreneurial mindset myself, uh, I definitely like that direction. Um, I guess what what things did you uh, did you go through? What kind of mindset did you have when you decided to start your practice? Or I guess what kind of pitfalls did you did you maybe come upon that you know? I guess you can drop a little gem of, of wisdom to us uh, to look out for. Yeah, I, I would say the biggest thing I would look out for, or maybe the biggest thing I would understand if I'm a young dentist coming out of school is you bring a ton to the table. So don't underestimate that. I, I was so enamored with getting my first job and I was hungry to get it that I jumped into a practice that I thought was going to be great. I didn't necessarily do my homework. It was a train wreck. Yeah. And then I had to start all over again. So it's not to say that you're going to find your dream practice the first time around, but don't underestimate what you bring to the table as a young dentist because you bring an awful lot. Another question I was interesting, I believe we talked about this uh, at the event the other day, was speaking more towards the culture of a practice, you know, um, and uh, looking at that. So I guess like what things or how do you go about building a positive culture if you plan on opening your own practice or maybe um, maybe dealing with or sh trying to shift the culture when you try to uh, go into a practice, you know, you don't want to step on anyone's toes, but at the same time, you want to make the, the opportunity the best that you can, so. Yeah, that's a great point. So one of the things dental school runs out of time to teach all of us is how to be a leader. Okay. Right? So we have to figure out, to your point, how are we going to do that? How are we going to lead a team of people? And and I know it's hard as a young dentist, especially if you're coming into a practice like mine, and I've been there for 20 years, and you're the new guy on the block. So I think the greatest piece of advice I would give you is um, from a, a quote that's been around for a while, and that's to seek first to understand and then to be understood. Okay. So if you come in and you're humble and you try to figure out how you're going to help me, inevitably, I'm going to want to help you back. And I'm going to learn, you're, going to, you're basically getting permission from me to take charge and be a leader too. Wow. And I think good practitioners who've been doing this for a while will, will want you to be a leader as well. well. As we said before, Tyler and I, we're very involved and very uh, 
you know, keen to entrepreneurial nature and wanting to open up our own practice when we get out. So, you know, having opened up a practice yourself, what are some things or what are some challenges that you, you saw uh, open up your own practice and what are some things that, you know, you have to stay constant or think about constantly and manage on a daily basis or to, to make sure that you stay successful in your practice, stay afloat and, and, and excels really? Yeah, I, the most difficult thing at the end of the day is managing people. So keeping a team full of people motivated, positive, upbeat, ready to help your patient, happy to do it, that's the biggest thing that we need to be great at. That's the hardest thing because we don't spend any time on it. So we invest a ton of time in our practice on building relationships, on communication, verbal skills. We work at it every week, every month, every year. Awesome. So it's just staying consistent. Yeah. That. Okay. Um, and uh, I guess for the other dental students out there, what are some things as a as a hiring um, a hiring dentist? What are some things that you look for as a student in a student coming out? Uh, is it more so like residency? Is it how well they get along with your with your team? Like is there a probationary period? Like I guess what's the process or what are some things that you look for? Yeah, I like the probationary period. <laughs> I wish I could pull that off. <laughs> there is a one. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of. Um, I think uh, first and foremost, it's passion and attitude. Okay. Right. We can. I can teach you anything in dentistry if you want to learn it. So you have to want to learn. You gotta be thirsty for knowledge. That's number one. Um, as a bonus, what I personally look for is if you've done postgraduate training. So if you're not a specialty um, practitioner, if you're gonna go GP, then I do want to see either a GPR or an AGD. It lets me know that you're gonna hit the ground running and I don't have to watch over your shoulder all day every month. But definitely passion's number one. So for our audience, uh, our other, our future DDS audience, as well as the Ignite DDS, our new Ignite DDS fans and audience. Um, we want Dr. Rice to, you know, we would like you to expound a, a little bit upon the platform itself, kind of how it evolved into what it is today and the direction you see it going in the next, let's say five years, five to 10 years. So. Okay, can I tell you like two quick stories? Yeah, yeah, definitely. All right, cool. So there were two main things that kind of drove the founding of Ignite DDS. The first was way back when I was an undergrad, I had one of my mentors was uh, one of my friend's dads. He owned a business that had nothing to do with dentistry. But what I learned from him is how to treat people. So picture it's Thanksgiving time. He throws this big party for all the people who work for him. Everybody's happy and he's handing out turkeys and everything's good. And lunch is over and then um, he's in his office and out walks one of his employees with tears in her eyes. And I thought, damn, he just fired somebody right after he had this Thanksgiving party. And his his personal assistant walks over and she's like, hey, do you know what just happened there? I'm like, yeah, I'm guessing somebody lost their job. She's like, no, Dennis just wrote a check for her daughter's tuition because she couldn't afford to do it. And he'll never speak a word of it. I, so I met Dennis just for reference for everybody here 30 years ago. And that one time has that man ever uttered those words. So that for me was like a foundation of learning how to really truly give from the right place. It's not about expecting anything back. And dentistry has been really good to me. So that was one big arm. And the second arm was I used to teach part-time at Buffalo Dental School. It's another sad story I won't get into, but I had to get out of that. And, and what I really wanted to do was work with dental students all over the country and form um, not even so much a community, but a movement for better. And there didn't have to be turf. It didn't have to be like political for ADA or athlete, which are both great groups. But I wanted to like take away all the barriers and just kind of bring people together and fight for something better as a unit. And that's really what Ignite has been in the past. For dental students today, we offer a lot of um, like continuing education while you're in school. It's all free. And ultimately, at the end of the day, we want to connect you guys with practices, which is also free. Like we're not trying to make money from you guys. We're just really trying to connect you with practices like mine, anywhere in the country, bigger groups, the right people in the industry. If you ever thought you wanted to be a speaker or a thought leader, we just know a lot of great people and we want to help them know you guys too. I guess a quick, uh, a, a few quick fun questions for our dental students out there. Uh, what was your favorite class while you were in dental school? <laughs> what was your, I guess, specialty class? Yeah. <laughs> uh, fixed props. Wow. So it was divided out. Yep, I loved it. So I fixed props. That's my, that's actually one of my favorite too. And what was, it, what was your least favorite? I guess your the one you you didn't like as much to go uh, through. Man, it was so that was a didactic course, and it was um, it was chemistry all day long. Wow. I don't remember which one it was, but <laughs> it was awful. <laughs>
All right, guys, so we're not gonna hold Dr. Rice too long, but I definitely want him to, you know, give him, give our viewers the uh, contact information and all the different ways they can get involved with the platform and anything else that you have going on uh, right now. So. Awesome, so you can, uh, of course, go to our website, ignitetvs.com. Please follow us on Instagram or Facebook. Um, we're on Instagram all the time. And um, you're all more than welcome to contact me personally. I, I love what I do. So my email is david.rice at ignitetds.com. You are more than welcome to reach out at any time. I'll answer. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thank you for your time. You're welcome. I appreciate you coming in, and uh, good luck tonight with the event. Thanks. All right, you all. So that was our interview with Dr. Rice from Ignite DDS. Um, I actually had the opportunity to see Dr. Rice speak at the ASDA National Leadership Conference. Um, he killed it there, and he killed it. Um, at the actual event that he had at our school this week. Um, if you didn't know, we actually threw another event outside of our school with Dr. Rice last week. Um, and it was a great event. You know, we invited a whole bunch of professionals within the Boston area, basically just to come out, network, meet each other, meet us, things like that. And it went really well. So once again, thank you, Dr. Rice, for uh, allowing us to partner up with you. Yeah, extremely genuine guy. Thanks again. Thank you to everybody who came out and joined us at the event. Uh, hope, we'll hope to have many more coming soon, but that's going to be it for the video. Uh, thank you guys for joining us. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, as well as the notification bell. Go head over to Instagram. Follow us at underscore future DDS. Head over follow Dr. Rice at Ignite DDS. Um, other than that, that's going to be it, man. If you have any questions for us, add it down to the comments. Uh, and if you have anything that's more personal, you can send us a DM on Instagram. But. Till next week, it's gonna be it. Thank you guys.